high tech design using ancient tools. I'm Tanya Hall and joining me is Molly Gillis, clay sculptor at Ford Motor Company. Welcome Molly. Hi, thank you. Tell us what a clay sculptor at Ford does and tell us about your life journey as a sculptor. So I got into clay modeling. I went to college for creative studies here in Detroit and got a bachelor of fine art. And I took a automotive clay modeling class when I was there and I fell in love with the process and learning all about it and that I could have a career working in a medium that I love. Um, and also my grandfather was a clay sculptor at Ford Motor Company for more than 40 years. Um, he passed away on July 13th, the actual uh, day the Bronco got released and he worked on the Bronco, the original one in 1966. So it's, it was everything kind of coming full circle when I got to come into Ford and work on the Bronco using the tools that he gave me that he had made. And now I use them on a daily basis to work every day. Um, and on a daily basis coming in, it's, it's really a different thing every day. It's a very collaborative environment. And um, I, they told me when I came in to be a sponge because you're gonna learn something new every day. And that's really honestly what I do. And um, it's, there's something, it's all, everything's changing very quickly and the clay allows us to do that. So it's nice. So you, you spoke a little bit about your grandfather, but what's the history of using clay models to design vehicles? So it's, um, it would cost a lot of money to make, uh, you know, metal prototypes of a design and then to have it change. And then you got to think about all that time to make the changes. And with clay, you're, we're putting hot clay and we can put it on just as quick as you can take it off and do it over and over again if we need to. So then let's talk about the process. What is the modeling process? Do you, do you work with different scale models before you actually go to full size? How does that work? Um, they, there has been programs when they do scale models beforehand and it'll usually start like that, like a four tenths model. Um, but the good thing about clay modeling, we have um, full size vehicles that are on these metal and wood bucks, like um, a structure basically, and then it's foam. And we use clay modeling mills and take the foam away to get a basic shape, put the clay on, get a, a basic shape with the clay. And then that's when like the fun really begins and you just see like the designers wheels turning in their head and they're you know up there with the tape and changing tape lines all day. And it's just, and, you know, going back and forth with them and making these changes to it. How many sculptors does it take to, to make a full size model? Is, how is the task actually divided up? It depends. Um, people will say how hot the product is, you know, like if we're towards the end or there's a review coming up, then you'll, you know, you could have six modelers on it working at different areas. Um, it takes, it's a, it's a full team, you know, we're a big team or someone might be working on a hard part for it, or we all take on different tasks throughout the day, just whatever is a need be situation. The, the Bronco has certainly gotten a lot of attention. Uh, how much input do modelers have in the artistic design? Um, it's definitely, it's, and I'm, you know, newer be coming to Ford and seeing how it works in the automotive industry. I thought it was going to be, you know, designers kind of telling us exactly what they want, but it's a lot of like bouncing back and forth because modelers, you know, working 3D, sometimes the guys that I work with that have been here for, you know, 20 years, they're like, well, that's not going to work because they can already see how one line change is going to change multiple different surfaces around it. And so then it's, you know, they just, they both just work together and with their 2D digital skills and our 3D modeling skills coming together and creating this process that is fairly quick. What are the advantages of using the timeless method of clay modeling over recent technologies like virtual or augmented reality? Um, I think, I do believe, you know, VR is important when we had that set up with the Bronco, which was really cool to see with the interior stuff to put the Bronco in the setting. 
But when you're looking at a model, sometimes um, flaws can occur within the digital rendering process and having that 3D model that we can take outside and see how the highlights are gonna hit it and make sure that the highlights are gonna track beautifully through the car, um, it really, it makes everything come full circle and you need to be able, it puts like the love back into it and the body into it. In an era of digital transformation of everything, what future do you see for modeling vehicles in clay? I, I have the most reassurance that we will always be modeling in clay. You will always need to have that physical property in front of you to make sure everything fits and it looks good from every view because it might look different when you look down on it, you know, on a computer, but in person, you, it might not really make that much sense. I'm sure that your grandfather is looking down on you today and is really proud of you. Molly Gillis, clay sculptor at Ford Motor Company. How can someone connect with you? Um, you can add me on LinkedIn if you'd like. That's fine. And I think my email is on there as well. Sounds good. Thanks again for your time. Thank you. And find more of my interviews right here or at tanyahall.net. Thanks for watching. Thank you.